Hey everyone, it's Mike Andes, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get 100 mowing customers in the next 100 days. So if you're just getting started, this is the right video for you. If you've already started your lawn care business or landscaping business, and you're wanting to grow by an additional 100 customers, this is also the video for you. Now, just watching my face talk is very boring. So what am I gonna to do today? We're gonna to watch a lawn being cut, because that's what we do as landscapers. And we're gonna make a game of this, all right? So what you've gotta to do today is you've gotta guess how many minutes did it take for us to mow this lawn. Watch this whole video. At the end, I'm, I'm gonna sprinkle some, you know, hints throughout. At the end, I'm gonna give you an extra one. How long would it take one person? There's two people in this crew, but assuming there was one, how many minutes would it be? So if there's two people and it takes them 10 minutes, you'd have to comment 20 minutes below. Now the winner, whoever can get this closest and the fastest, whoever nails it in terms of minutes today, is going to win a free package of all of our door hangers at lawncaremedia.com. It's like mowing, hardscaping, landscaping, mulch, aeration, irrigation. We have every single service you can think of. And all of those door hangers, you're able to win the designs for those if you guess today exactly how long it takes to mow this lawn. Now, last week we had a winner. This is the winner, Nathan Larson. He won last week's video. If you didn't watch that video, check it out here. He guessed 32 minutes. He was correct. He won a full lifetime subscription to landscapebusinesscourse.com worth $599. So he can go there, learn how to grow his business for the next, for grow up to $100,000 in monthly revenue. It's a fantastic program. He won that and he did it in the most, the fastest way. So comment below on that and tell me how many customers did you get in your first 100 business days when you started your company? Without any further delay, let's roll the tape. All right, so this is Blake on the left. We got Ben on the right. Both awesome guys working from the local shop here at the Bellingham, Washington location for Augusta Lawn Care. Now, we have over 90 locations at Augusta Lawn Care and I get to see a lot of companies start their lawn care business. And there's some that make get 100 customers with literally within the first month or two. There's others that take a year or two. Today I'm gonna to be talking about what the difference is and how you can also get your first 100 customers. How fast you wanna to grow, totally up to you, but this is how I would get started and this is how I would get to my first 100 customers on a shoestring budget. You don't need a ton of money for this one. I'm not gonna do Google ads and Facebook ads, and you'll notice I don't even mention a website until you're after your first 100 mowing customers. So let's jump into it. Your first 10 customers. What would you do, what should you be doing to get your first 10 customers? Well, in my opinion, you've gotta do door knocking. Door knocking is the good old fashioned put shoes on and pound pavement. You're gonna go from house to house, you're gonna knock on people's doors, and you're gonna say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm Mike, I'm starting Mike's Lawn Care here. And uh, if you ever need service, just let me know. And you're literally going to talk to them and ask them if they need service. And if they say no, that's fine, you move on. And you're gonna have door hangers in your hand potentially or something to give them, maybe a business card or something like that, that's fine. But you're just literally gonna door knock and you're gonna do it in one neighborhood, maybe 100 or 200 houses, just door knock their, knock on all their doors, talk to them, introduce yourself, give them a little flyer, give them something. At the end of the day, you're just introducing yourself and that is how you will get your first 10 customers, building personal connection. You're not gonna be able to do that if you have 500, 600, 700 customers because you don't have that personal connection anymore. You don't even know the name of your customers. I don't even know one third, not even 2% probably of the customers at Augusta. So therefore, it's a matter of those first 10, you're gonna have that personal connection with, and you're gonna door knock, 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 knock. Hey, Mr. Jones, my name is Mike. I just got, just got started with Mike's Lawn Care. I would love to service your property, help you out ever you can. And uh, yeah, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Here's my card. That's literally what you're gonna do to get the first 10 customers. Now, the next set, the next stage of growth is from 10 customers up to 30. So you've got your first 10, you did your door knocking. How are we going to get from 10 to 30? This is where we are gonna use a print marketing strategy. And all this means is we're gonna use print material to be able to get the, our message out to more people. Because now you got 10 customers, maybe you're mowing them on the weekend, maybe you're mowing them in the evenings, but we're trying to get to 30. And 30 is almost gonna fill your schedule because maybe at this time you're just getting started part-time, et cetera, if you're just getting started. But again, we gotta get from 10 to 30. How are we gonna do that? Door hangers and yard signs. So I want you to do two things. I want you to put yard signs in the yard of all your existing 10 customers. I also am going to want you to put door hangers on the neighbors of all of those 10 customers as well. Maybe like the five customers or the five neighbors around your existing customers. So you literally need like 50, uh, 50 door hangers. You literally are going to put five door hangers on the houses, the neighbors, next door neighbors of your customers and then the three people across the street. Five times 10, that's 50. You're gonna do that 
and you're gonna put yard signs in all 10 of your existing customers. That should get you to 30. You're probably gonna get an extra 50 or 100 door hangers, maybe even a couple hundred, and just do do more door hangers in your neighborhood. On the one that you've already knocked on everyone's door, now you're gonna do door hangers. And you're gonna try to get to 30 customers inside that nice, tight area. Just a few neighborhoods. You don't need to do across your whole city. Just a few neighborhoods, maybe a mile radius, maybe a few different neighborhoods that you think are really good for your business to get started in. Start there. That's gonna get you to 30 customers, all right? So first 10, door knocking. 10 to 30, that next set, that next group is gonna be door hangers and yard signs. Because now when people drive by and they all start noticing, oh, there's Mike's lawn care. Oh, there's Mike's lawn care. Oh, there's Mike's lawn care. They're looking at all of those yard signs and that's validation that, hey, maybe Mike's lawn care is the person that I should be calling for my lawn care needs. Next step, how do we get to 50 customers? Because now at 30 customers, you're pretty busy. Like that's gonna be you know a few days worth of full-time work. How are we going to actually do marketing? Because man, goodness, I'm starting to get pretty busy. So getting from 30 to 50 customers is a lot of times where people kind of stall out. At this stage is where I really recommend you focus on every door direct mail because we don't have the time necessarily now to be doing door hangers and running around because we've got 30, 40, 50 customers. We're starting to get full time. Like this is a full time every day getting the work done, depending on the size of your property, obviously. But for the most time, if you get 10, 12 lawns done in a day, average property being 50, $60 per cut, that's pretty good. If you're mowing by yourself, that's pretty good. And that's gonna be pretty average. And so you're gonna be basically full-time working all day long. You're not gonna have the time now to do, do door hangers and chase down yard signs and put them up in all your properties. And my goodness, you're starting to get full-time. So, well, now you need to rely on something that's gonna cost a little bit more money, but now you can afford it because you're gonna have that 30, 40 customers already rolling in income every single month. So what you're gonna do is do every door direct mail. If you have no idea what that is, it's EDDM. And if you just go into Google, do ED. DM and then USPS, the United States Postal Service. Basically what happens is you can take a bundle of like a hundred different postcards or flyers, any sort of print literature, take that into the, the post office and they're gonna deliver it in any given postal route. So what you can do is you can choose like one or two, maybe three postal routes that are right around that neighborhood that you got started in and really start to focus on getting route density. And maybe you're gonna spend a few hundred dollars because the, hey, look, the postage is like, let's just say it's 16, 17, 17, maybe 18 cents. Let's just round up to 20. And then maybe to print off a flyer gonna cost you, let's just say five cents, 25 cents to be able to print these flyers off and get them distributed. Well, that means literally I can do a thousand, a thousand of those for just $250. $250 is gonna give me a thousand flyers delivered. What's really cool about that is I can make $250 in probably, you know, maybe half a day. And therefore I'm able to take half a day's worth of work and distribute flyers to a thousand people. That's what's gonna get you from 30 customers all the way up to 50. That extra 20, going from 30 to 50, you're already busy, you can't, you don't have time to go knock on doors and do door hangers and yard signs. You're just trying to get the work done. You're trying to make revenue. And so at this point, that's when you start actually deploying things into marketing and spending a little bit more money. Yeah, it's 250 bucks, 300, maybe you spend $400. But now you get some real scale. You start to get more customers because you're able to reach more of them and you don't have to put more time into it. You're trying to put money and investing your money into the business. The next stage of growth is 50 to 100. And this is where, in my opinion, you should get like a virtual office assistant, okay? Because up until this point, uh, you know, you've been taking the calls, you've been doing the emails, but now, hey, you're too busy. Get a virtual office assistant that can do over the phone estimates where they can measure the property, they can use square footage and give a price over the phone. This is gonna allow you to scale very quickly and allow you to stay in the field actually performing work at 70, $80 an hour instead of paying someone just, you know, in, or taking your time to answer the phone, do emails, get the estimates sent out. Let someone else do that. Get a virtual office assistant, pay him a couple bucks per minute. It's fine. Your time is better spent doing the work and not being distracted throughout the day. Now, if you're getting to past a hundred customers, you've got a full-time employee helping you now. This is the time to invest in a great website and you don't have to get something really fancy. You know, in fact, like lawncarewebdesign.com, I own that company. And I tell people, do not use that business, my, my business, until you're above and trying to get above 200,000 in annual revenue. To get started, use weebly.com, use squarespace.com for like 10, 15, 20 bucks a month. When you really wanna take it to the next level, get a custom site that looks really good on mobile and is really fast and responsive and gets great Google rank, 
then potentially you can move on to lawncarewebdesign.com. Great resource, I believe in 100%, but you don't need that to get started. And if you're getting past 100 customers, get started with something cheap. If you're trying to scale past though, 150, 200 customers, way beyond 100, definitely a good thing to get a really great website. It's gonna look really good on Google as well as rank high and get lots of leads that way because that's how you really start to scale is getting leads to your website where people find you on Google and you don't have to spend money on things like print advertising. So whether you're going from zero to 10, 10 to 30, 30 to 50, or 50 to 100, or you're past 100, at every single stage, you can grow your business if you're systematic and you're thinking about it from an advertising perspective, putting the money back into the company and scaling it up to get more customers. Now, regardless of what stage you're at, there are definitely resources in the description. There's see the links that are going to help you at every single one of these stages. LandscapeBusinessCourse.com, great resource. LawnCareMedia.com, great resource to get those door hangers, get those flyers, get those postcards. Those are all in the links in the description. Check them out and make sure you comment below exactly how long you think that this job took. How many minutes? Because whoever's closest is going to get all of the door hangers on LawnCareMedia.com, all those designs completely free, whoever guesses it first. So here we go. Do it now. Now, let's go.